Hi, I'm Bob Morabito and we're here today to have a look over the U8 Hunter 545 Sport Fisher Alley. Welcome aboard, come and have a look through. So the 545 LE has followed on from our uh, tried and true design like the 535 which has been one of our most popular models and it becomes very hard to improve on that but we think we've um, got it pretty right and the market has uh, taken to the boat really well and a couple of the features that will be quite different when you look inside some of the features of the boat with the four stroke engines have evolved um, to enable us to carry slightly more weight and horsepower on this model boat. Um, the boat has got a 25 inch transom which unlike the 535 just gives the ability to carry more weight and have the engine a bit higher away from the water. Um, the rear part of the boat is being developed to have rear seats in position or out of position so that if you need it a little bit more space to play the fish you can get right to the back of the boat offering a little bit more action room and once you've put the seats back into position of course sit down and carry on um, also on the basis of that too so that you don't slip when coming back aboard they've got the ultra long floor panels on it which give a nice non-skid feature to the boat. Now that Ultralon is carried through the boat right through the floor line. Um, it offers a really easy clean um, surface different from carpet but just a different just another choice that you can have. The <coughs> floor section also incorporates a nice deep dish locker for either your fish or ice or storing of extra gear and we've replaced the traditional floor with the composite glass floor panels what this does it bonds the flooring to the hull of the boat and adds a structural element to the boat which is um, great in its finish um, we've retained the back-to-back -back seat style option which in this model has had an improvement to it to include an insulated fish bin. Not a freezer, but a good insulated bin with a nice insulated top, party ice, um, perhaps overnighting or keeping the fish nice and cold. Another great element for the boat. <clears throat> Up into the forward cabin section, nice headroom, really easy anchor access to get out and deal with the, the ground tackle and you're still retaining storage lockers right up the front of the boat. This is our LE model, the limited edition, which has a <coughs> upholstered crash pad leading into the cabin, slightly higher um, quality upholstery and the upholstered top over the, over the top of the dash. The exposed stitching that we have in the in the upholstery, again another feature of the LE model. The dash incorporates pretty much all the fittings that you'd need with the stereo, the VHF, the automatic winch control which I'll go through later and of course your digital gauges and your colour fish finder plotter and the switch gear. The steering system in all the Haynes Hunters is hydraulic which takes away a lot of the torque of the engine, makes it effortless to drive. And one of the traditional problems with steering, if you let the wheel go, often the rotation of the prop would cause the boat to, to veer off. Once you let hydraulic steering go, it stays in position if you need to retrieve your glasses or your hat. You some had if it's disappeared. So really a good pleasure to use. The helm seat is a multi-position seat it rotates goes up and down it has a soft rider section to it and if you need to push the seat back it's adjustable in those situations if you're doing distance driving standing up the nicest things about this new 545 model is that while it is only 100 mil longer than the predecessor the 535 it does offer up a lot more space in the cockpit 
without compromising any space in the cabin. In fact, most customer comment that we get on the sea trials, uh, this feels like a six meter boat. It does have that feel. And the boat really does perform substantially better than the 535, which was one of our best performing hulls. And you would expect it to be an improvement. In line with that, the things like the, the glass floors that we have, the 535 didn't have, the 25 inch transom to enable it to carry more horsepower, the 535 didn't have, the beam, the extra length in the cockpit, and also the ability to have the retrofit of an automatic capstan as we all get a bit older and don't want to haul the anchor up, nice to operate it from the helm with a single push of a switch. And to further enhance that, we often put an additional switch on the anchor locker in the forward cabin so that if you do have to deal with an anchor foul up, you can easily deal with it safely right up at the front at the coalface. Our bait station on the Haynes Hunters is a purpose-built bait station um, designed to give you good height for cutting the bait, um, good tray around the outside and a drain hole at the back so you're going to lose all the excess rubbish into your outboard well which will obviously self-clean when you've got the, the water motion. Um, Built-in rod holders and when you want to store the boat easily the legs just come out drop into the side pockets, remove the rod holders and then the whole bait board is able to be stowed in the side pocket. Nice and easy. Um, if you ultimately wanted to put a, a drain hose onto the bait station, then that's another thing that could be adapted further to suit. Once the bait station's out, of course, then you've got the ski pole position to drop in quite quickly. Nice and easy to use nice and functional. Uh, the rear seats which we touched on just do give you the ability not only to ha have extra people on board but remove them so that you can afford a little bit more access to the back of the boat if you're playing a fish helping somebody aboard along those lines. The transom in the 545 is the start of our 25 inch transoms which gives the the boat the ability to carry extra horsepower. Because the 545, slightly bigger than the 535, not as big as the 600, the horsepower rating of this boat is up to 150. So things like a 115 four stroke, a 130 four stroke, or the ultimate 150 four stroke is able to be handled easily on the back, coupled up to the hydraulic steering system. Okay, most of the LEs that are um, being sold currently do include the stainless steel rigid frame bimini. It offers a bit higher headroom and a little bit more visibility than the traditional canopies which have a blank coloured front and a little zip roll up sun hatch. Um, also to incorporate into the bimini we've designed the rocket launcher to be an additional feature if required that bolts on simply with four bolts and you can get all your nice expensive rods up out of the way stop people tripping over them the 545 is a completely new hull front to back top to bottom inside now with a blend of a lot of the new technologies that we've already covered but one of the things about the Haynes that is different and we always go on about it and that's the ride and the ride is through the hull the business end of the boat a few of the features that will take you through here the the big strakes on the Haynes are proud, pronounced right to the front of the boat and they help to give the boat that lift up off the, off the um, slow speed up onto planing. You'll notice traditionally a lot of boats will, will squat trying to get onto the plane, losing a lot of horizon before they drop and take off. Well, the big strakes on the bottom of the Haynes and the fact we've got the engine on the transom, not extension, it's on the transom. It pushes the boat up onto the plane really quickly with no loss of horizon. And you've got the big planing strakes assisting with that, as well as the nice big shoulder along the chine. Coupled with that, the dryness of the ride is accentuated by the big flare on the bow. And that flare is there for an exact reason to shed the water sideways, not throw it up the front of the boat and wear it full face if you haven't got the canopy up. The nice fine entry in the bow 
gives the boat the slice, the strakes give the boat the lift, and the flare gets rid of all the grotty water. That keel strip that is moulded into the boat is part of, again, the boat structure. It's a half round brass keel band. It's a standard feature on all Haynes Hunters, and that'll afford you some protection if you are going in to kiss the beach, hopefully not too hard. So one of the developments with the 545 LE was the ability to have a nice big deep anchor locker to get rid of all the excess rope with the fitting of an automatic capstan. This enabled you to stand at the steering wheel, push a button and not have to worry about the, going up the front to deal with the anchor and having the ability that 70 or 80 meters of rope and chain can disappear into the anchor locker without the need to be constantly patted down because the winch was jamming. It works very well and offers um, a good option at initial purchase or the ability to have it retrofitted subsequent to purchase as we get a bit older and don't want to deal with the anchor anymore. So the Lumar winch is a very high quality, it's a low profile automatic winch, um, runs a power up and power down so you've got total control with it. Um, it's factory wired through the um, production in the factory and we put uh, standard plow anchor on it with the swivel and 80 meters of rope as well as 10 meters of chain so that gives the anchor a good set on the bottom. Really easy to use and as a, um, an additional option we also offer an extension switch for the capstan from the helm up the front of the boat so if you did need to deal with a snarl up you can deal with it safely at the front by yourself and almost a hands free finish. So all the Haynes Hunter boats we supply are on the DMW Premier Series trailers, which are New Zealand built, designed, manufactured uh, in Hamilton. And they are designed for the boat. They're not a Meccano set type trailer, a multi-fit, one trailer fits all. This trailer is designed for the 545 and only fits the 545. The particular placement of the roller rack systems underneath that gives the boat its really easy launch and retrieve aspect. In the traditional days of uh, mum holding the boat and the boat coming on all crooked, um, those days are gone. The keel roller supports have all disappeared in favour of um, double banks of rollers, multi-rollers on the side of the boat. So the boat will actually fact come up at a 45 degree angle just by keep winding the winch slowly the boat will centre itself and track right up the trailer and sit there. We have very minimal adjustments on the trailers. It's only the front roller system that will take a little bit of adjustment. The rest of the trailer is permanently fixed rollers in position. It stops the road chatter. It stops the beating of the rollers on the bottom of the hull. And once you've got the tie downs locked on, the boat will sit behind you really securely. So all the new DMW Premier Series trailers come with the alloy wheels as standard equipment, um, corrosion resistant, and the other added little bonus of bearing buddies. These pressurise the hub with keep the grease all nice and tight so when you're doing long distance towing, you back the trailer into the water, that momentary cooling um, is protected. You won't get water into your bearings if you've got bearing buddies on that give you a two or three year minimum um, life for your bearings rather than just replacing them every year. Um, also the lighting system on the trailer is full underwater LED lights which uh, run up the trailer through your main plug and again the the days of replacing bulbs are gone. The LEDs, really reliable, really bright, and do a great job. Okay, so that's a general overview of the SF545 LE Haynes Hunter. If you'd like any more details on it, come and see Bob or Dennis at uh, 50 Crawley Street and here in Auckland, and we'd love to take you through the boat. And of course, um, give us a call on 09 5799 or you can get us on sales at seacraft.co.nz.